Hey, Happy Fox users. Today we're going to learn how to set up our service level agreements or SLAs. Simply click on the Manage tab and scroll over to your SLA sub tab and it's going to direct you over to this page. Now I've created an SLA that we're going to use as an example, but if you want to add a new SLA, all you have to do is click on Add New SLA here, which we're going to do. So I can show you um, this basic form that we have to fill out in order to create one. So you simply fill in your name, the description of the SLA if you want, which is like an internal description, and then the goal uh, that you wish to uh, meet or attain. So you enter in your basic information, activate and inactivate an SLA, and you can attach this to a specific work schedule, which is in another video, but in order to manage your work schedule, simply scroll the top and use this little gray button here to create or uh, select a specific work schedule. And then the next step is you're going to set your objective. Now you have five objectives uh, possible here. For example, time taken to send first response to a ticket. So I could select this objective and let's say I want to make an SLA or have an SLA for a particular customer, VIP customers that my first response time is going to be, it should be less than 30 minutes. Okay. And um, I, I want to meet this any percentage of the time I can select. At this time, I want to say 100% of the time. Uh, again, I said this is for my VIP customer. So now let me set up a couple of conditions here where uh, this SLA will come into play for those customers. So I want anytime I have a ticket with the status is new, and I want to add another condition here, and this is your and conditions here, and the priority is urgent. And it's one of my VIP customers, so I'm going to select from my custom fields that I've created in my Happy Fox account. I'm, account, I'm going to come down to VIP customer, and I'm going to say if it's either VIP customer one, two, or three. Notice I said or, so this is your or statements here. I'll get in a little bit deeper on that one in one moment. Just let me finish filling out this basic condition here. So I've got three VIP customers that I deal uh, customer service for. And again, back to the and and or statements, I have to match all of these conditions, which means I have to have this status and this priority. But match any of these conditions, this means that any one of these conditions has to be true. So it needs to be VI customer, VIP customer one or VIP customer two or VIP customer three. Okay, so depending on how you want to set up your conditions, these conditions are the same for smart rules as well, which we're going to get into in one second again also. So, and then we're going to attach or associate uh, whichever categories we want here, okay? So that's the, the simple form you fill out in order to create a, a SLA, just like a smart rule. I'm going to cancel out of this one, and let's use this example that I created earlier. So I'm just going to click on Edit so you can take a look at it. And again, this says that I want my first response time on any new tickets to be within one hour. And I don't have any conditions set for uh, particular customers or anything. I can just leave these blank. This is going to be a simple SLA. I want this to be across the board. All new tickets need to be responded to within one hour, and my goal for this is to, to do this 85% of the time. And I'll just attach it to any categories here, okay? Now, once this, S, or I'm sorry, yeah, once this SLA is created, what happens is you're going to be able to manage it in your dashboards tab. You can see here that you can select specific SLAs, and it's going to show you the reports that you have in your dashboard, so you can see which SLAs are being breached or which staff agents are doing best, so on and so forth. So that's one way to use your SLAs. But I also have the ability to create a smart rule, which is identical to that SLA and automate an action if that SLA is breached. So in other words, um, this, is, this smart rule is tied into the SLA example that I had created earlier. So let's take a look at it really fast and I'll show you. So if I have a ticket and its status is new 
and the customer message or a new response, whichever options you want here, goes unresponded for more than an hour, I want you to send an email to a supervisor or I want you to send an email using a tag to all of the staff agents who are part of this category. And what this tag does is pulls automatically all of the email addresses that are associated with the categories which are associated to the SLA rule as well. Okay, so I have the option to use my tags for some basic or simple uh, information, and I can also use some free text here, as you see in, in my subject, hello, it's going to have the ticket ID. When it sends the email to the supervisor at your company.com or whatever it is, it's going to have the ticket ID, this text, and then it's going to have the ticket URL so that that agent or supervisor can simply click on the URL, jump onto the ticket, and start to manage the customer or the staff agent dealing or associated with it as well. So now you can see SLA and Smart Rules work uh, very similarly. They're very easy to set up, and it's great to have an automated process attached to your SLA as well using your Smart Rules. So if you guys have any uh, further questions, please feel free to email us. We're happy to chat with you. And again, as always, thank you for using Happy Fox.